a characteristic of Japan's cyber diplomacy is a consistency in the free open in the Pacific. The free open in the Pacific is a vision shaping Japan's international strategy. It promotes rule based order, economic prosperity, and security. It also integrates Japan, Japan's science, technology, and the data policy, society. 5.0 and data free flow with trust. Society 5.0 is a concept of human-centered society with economic prosperity achieved by integration of cyberspace and physical space. In this concept, the key technology is artificial intelligence and data analysis. This is the basic policy for of innovation and digitalization. And the data free flow with trust is Japan's concept of cross-border non-personal data flows to boost the rule making on digital economy. Those policies combined under the free open the Pacific and Japan promotes these ideas in G7, G20 summits and bilateral and multilateral dialogues as its diplomacy. There are many opportunities for Japan EU cooperation on shaping data governance. They can collaborate uh, with rule making on non-personal data uh, non-personal data governance. Last year, uh, they signed uh, Osaka Declaration on Digital Economy and working with Osaka uh, track for rulemaking on digital economy and Japan received the adequacy decision from EU regarding the personal data protection. So I believe Japan and EU can collaborate in not only non-personal data but also personal data governance. The collaboration will prevent cyber cyberspace from fragmentation and maximize the potential of the digital economy. The challenge is the filling of gaps between the difference, different approaches in data flows and stores, such as uh, China and the EU approach. The, some countries strongly force the data localizations and requires control of the government authority, authorities. That is a challenge to, to filling the gaps. A key issue in global cybersecurity is the coordinated action. The growing number of reports regarding martial cyber behavior in cyberspace shows uh, good defense is not enough to deter attacks. It requires change calculus of actors behind the attacks. Coordinated attribution disclosing actors and their behavior could be an option. Japan has released a public statement as re reactions to the cyber attacks threatening the national security environment, it, but it carefully selects different narratives to consider the consequences of uh, releasing the statements. In 2017, it blamed uh, North Korea for the cyber attacks and its statement directly uh, pointed out the government of North Korea of, uh, had, is responsible for the attack. It, the, this is a key issue ahead in terms of the global cybersecurity and the global security.